Here we have a 49 inch Toshiba LED TV. This is another recycle shop find. The original owner had given up on it. When this came in, it had a failed power supply. The section of the power supply that controls and runs the LEDs had failed. So what I did is I just bypassed it all. This is a little step up boost board that I'm able to just manually control. There's no backlight dimming, but whatever, it worked. And uh, well, after I fixed the power supply section, that's when I discovered it had a failed LED. So I fixed the LED, put it all back together, and it ran great. It ran fine for a while, and then another LED failed. So I'm thinking this might this TV might be the perfect opportunity for an idea I've had rolling around in my head for a while, and that is to build a solar TV, a TV that uh, can run off of daylight. So this is what we're starting with. I'll just turn it on. Should boot up. There. Um, but you can see the middle third is dark. That is, uh, that's the section of LEDs we lost again. Now the most power hungry section of the TV is going to be the LED backlighting. And my plan is to get rid of it. We're going to use either daylight or ambient room lighting to light the LCD screen. Now, since we're getting rid of the uh, backlighting, we can also get rid of the power supply, which would be the next power hungry device. So the only thing we really have to worry about powering is the main board and the T-Con, which will run the LCD display. The solar panel I plan to use to run that is this guy here, which is rated for about 320 milliamps, which I'm pretty confident that should be enough to run the main board and the T-Con and the screen. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do is, is try to run the main board uh, without the power supply. I don't think that will be an issue. This is labeled as needing 5 volts and 16 volts. This solar panel is rated for, what, 24 volts. About 24 volts. So um, we can replace all this with a voltage regulator. And uh, I think we'll have enough energy here to make this thing work. To answer my question as far as how much power am I going to need to run this TV without the LED backlighting, I've disconnected the original power supply board and right now we're just powering the main board and the T-Con and the screen. I have it hooked up to the bench power supply. Now as you can see the 16 volt rail is going to need about 330 milliamps. The 5 volt rail is going to need about 220 milliamps. And it is on and running. I'm going to click the input source button here. It should pop up. There, pop up the input box. You can see it is running. But unfortunately, the solar panel I was planning on using is not going to be enough. This maxes out at about 320 milliamps. And as of right now, we don't have the speakers hooked up. There's no audio. The sound is going to need a little bit of energy. So I'm going to need at least a half amp solar panel to run this. $15 and a few days later, here we have a 10 watt solar panel from eBay. I did confirm it matches the specs. I can get a half amp out of it uh, with a short circuit and I am getting over uh, 20 volts uh, open with no load. So it is promising. It does look like this will do it. This main board needs about 6.38 watts approximately to make an image plus whatever the audio needs. So hopefully 10 watts will do it. This main board needs three power rails to be on to work. Uh, it needs a 3.3, which is this uh, orange wire here. It has its own 3.3 volt regulator, so I'm just stealing off of its own voltage regulator. This is just the AC on, kind of the everything is okay, go ahead and turn on signal wire. And then we have the 5 volt, the red wire, which I'm going to be using a 7805 voltage regulator. These are usually good up to one amp. I think I only needed like 200 milliamps. Yeah, I only need 200 milliamps to power the five, so I'll be stealing some power from the 16 volt rail to power that. And then I'll have just two wires left, uh, main power and main ground. I think I'm gonna mount this. It's like a nice empty spot right here on the board. And basically this replaces all of this since I no longer need to worry about powering a backlight. and no longer need to worry about backlight on, backlight dimming. So, it's pretty simple when it's done.
Now the main board is prepped to run off of one single 16 volt source DC jack, so I can put the uh, solar panel on the other, other end of that plug. So the five volt regulator is just pulling off of the 16 volts here and then coming out as five volts to feed the five volts. This is ground. I actually don't need the screw in here anymore. That was just to hold it in place. One of the mounting screws that go into the sheet metal will go through that hole and clamp that down to the ground too. Before I go any farther and really tear this thing apart, I wanted to see how low I could go. So now I've got the power supply set to 10 volts and I'm still getting an image. There we go, and a response out of the main board. So, it's looking good. Next, uh, go ahead and cut the back off this TV so we can let some natural light in, huh? Small update. I had to disconnect the linear voltage regulator. This guy was chewing up and wasting two and a half watts. And for a project like this, every watt is going to count. So I switched over to a switching style buck. This is an adjustable voltage regulator. And now I'm back to about six and a half watts of total power consumption. Here I'm just doing an outdoor proof of concept. Unfortunately, I had to use both solar panels. That 10 watt eBay panel wasn't quite enough. But I do get an image. Let me see if I can reach around hit the power button here. There. I don't know if you can see that in the glare or not, but I do have some on-screen menus. So I am able to power up the main board off the solar panels and get an image. Um, now I know I can go ahead and hack off the back of this thing to get some light through it. Here I'm just adding some conformal coat to the main board just in case it gets left outside and rained on to at least uh, have a chance to survive. Here's my first uh, proof of concept test. And it's running strictly off grid, solar only, uh, no backup battery. And this is 
of course not done yet but uh i'm going to build a stand for it and mount the main board but here i'm just using a wire for an antenna so i'm getting over the air the antenna is just laying across the line there but it's running uh just off of that solar panel and the sunlight coming in through the back so there's there's where the lights coming in to light the panel and it works System. It's super easy to use. It and the audio works too. Adapter that will help you work with some of the containers that you will have coming with the set. A fresh saber bag to reuse over and over. Sell it over $200. They were $101. But what about indoor use? Here I have it running just off of a general purpose 12 volt AC adapter. Even a simple 10 watt wall wart would be enough. The TV only consumes seven watts. And even on top of that, it's running a Roku. So now it's a smart TV. And this is getting power right off of the main board USB port. And it's drawing such little power, it's not even registering. And it's running right now. So this would have no problem running off the solar panel also. So as long as you have a Wi-Fi signal, you have TV. And here you can see it's just sitting in the windowsill getting the light from the, from the outside. Here's some real world numbers. I'm getting just a hair under 1200 milliamps in between the clouds. It's a bit of a cloudy day, but it's consistent at about 1200. This is the short circuit test, so it's basically putting a dead short uh, on the solar panel. And this is a uh, voltage test. Can you just a hair under 22, it looks like. So a solid 21 volts, uh, open circuit, and uh, 1200 milliamp short circuit. So the solar panel I'm using, I got off eBay for uh, $31.31. It's advertised as 25 watt. It's advertised as 3 amp, but you know that's Chinese 3 amp. But with a real world 1.2 amps and 21 volts, it technically could be a 25 watt amp, although I doubt it can do both 21 volts and 1.2 amps at the same time But it's enough power to run everything and I could charge a battery and uh, Not have to worry about cloudy days I think this wraps up the video Thanks for watching Katie get out of the plant No Stop.